We work in three primary domains at City of Promise, and those domains being academic, youth development, and health and wellness. And what I mean by academic is that we're working with the kids in school, and we're working with them to keep them engaged in school and to help them to feel, feel um, successful while they are there. Uh, we also um, uh, help them to acquire tutoring of any type that they may need so that they can be successful in school. Um, we're working daily on um, the parent-school connection and making sure that parents um, can connect with the school in a positive way so that their children um, can be successful in school. Um, with regards to youth development, um, or what some people call out of school time, um, we recognize that kids spend most of their time outside of school. Kids only spend about six hours a day in school, but they spend the rest of that time at home or in the community. Um, and not to mention uh, when they're on breaks, like winter break or spring break or summer break. So we think that young people need to have some times to have enrichment and have opportunity to grow and, and further develop themselves even while they're not in school. We also have a drop-in program in the community. We call it STEAM. It's called Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. And we have a, a lab with computers um, where kids can come and do get homework help and they can um, work on technology projects. Uh, so we're just trying to make sure that these kids have positive things to do in the community when they're outside of school because if they don't then we know that um, the students will, gra will gravitate to things that won't necessarily be um, best for them. The garden is a part of that health and wellness domain. Um, I myself was a garden skeptic for a long time, but I have come to understand how the garden is very much so an integral part of building community. Um, the garden itself was built and constructed by neighbors in the community. One of our neighbors, uh, Mr. Ali, um, he took the kids out and they uh, built the, the raised bed gardens. And um, they built the, the, the beds for the plants and everything. And, and he worked with them and showed them the carpentry skills. So it was also some skill development for the young people. The decisions that we make about implementation or action uh, with regards to programming is, is done with the, the best research uh, practice in mind. And the University of Virginia has been uh, instrumental in helping us to do that. Uh, they have helped us with our longitudinal uh, data system. They have helped us with our uh, uh, planning grant, with our uh, segmentation analysis, and our community survey. Um, that wouldn't have been able to happen without the relationship that we have with the university. They are more engaged in school, uh, and, and we can see that um, by nature of their grades and their graduation rates and their finishing rates, but also by their attitudes that we see every day. And, and another thing that we do that contributes to that is uh, we contribute to it by uh, making sure they have enriching experiences. We've been able to send uh, several uh, students from the community to Africa. Some of them went to, to Ghana where they are helping uh, a community in Winneba, uh, Ghana to build a library. So we want our uh, young people to understand that, um, that the world is bigger than Charlottesville. We went out into the community again and we did uh, listening, another listening tour and we seen exactly what exactly um, the community believed that in you know two, three years later what they felt like was necessary to, to keep these young people on the path to success. And, and that in and of itself uh, we see as a success that we really took the time to listen, not once, but we took the time to listen twice and that informs our practice and our action. And we hope that that, that really becomes the model for all programs um, in the region and, and, and those people who support our work understand that um, we're really taking the time to listen to the community.